Today we're going to be talking about the role of crypto in sports. Yeah, I know most of you guys have no idea that there's a huge correlation between the two and uh, it's only growing. So stay tuned to find out more about what the hell is actually going on. Hey Lambo, what's up brother? What are you watching man? Sports? You're watching sports? No way. Or no way. You're not watching. You're betting on these fucking things. How the fuck are you even betting? Oh really? With, with Bitcoin? Nah. Uh, well, we gotta talk about this in a little bit. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can all talk about it right now. Mm. Great copy, bro. Great copy. Hey guys, and welcome back. In case uh, you missed the intro, which I don't know how you did, um, we're talking about sports. Not just sports, we're talking about, you know, crypto's role in sports. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's a bunch of things going on with sports and crypto right now. Um, you guys have already been hearing me say what, uh, what Bitcoin really is. Um, it's like Napster to the music industry or Uber to the taxi industry. All Bitcoin is, is Bitcoin <laughs> to the banking industry, okay? It's like Napster, but for the banking industry, okay? That's why, you know, again, um, just like the music industry um, didn't fare too well, <clears throat> just like um, a lot of these industries have not fared too well in, uh, in, in the wake of uh, this new technology, well, guess what? The banking system isn't gonna fare too well. But again, guys, that's not what you guys are here for. You guys are here for my merch, because I'm selling merchandise. Again, by the way, I have a new store. If you guys are looking to buy Jose Ortega merchandise, just click in the link at the bottom description of the video. But again, that's not what you guys clicked on this video for. You guys clicked on this video because you guys want to know about sports. So there's a lot of things going on with sports. So right now, you know, let's just um, go off the top of my head because that's what we're doing today, guys. I and mean, you know me, I don't do, I don't have a script to do any homework. But right off the top of my head, Litecoin. All right, if you guys aren't aware, Litecoin is the official partner of the Miami Dolphins. I know, who would have thought, huh? By the way, if you guys aren't aware, that's my team, all right? That's the team I follow. I know, I know, sad. You can leave all the, you know, you can laugh at me all you want in the comments, okay? But regardless, as a Miami Dolphin fan, the, one of the good things that we have is Coach Shula. No, no, wait, wait. It was um, the undefeated season. No, 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 no. Dan Marino. No, no, no. No, the fact that we were the we are the first NFL team to accept a cryptocurrency. I think we are. I'm pretty sure we are. But anyways, Litecoin is now being accepted by the Miami Dolphins. And as far as I know, um, I think they also accept Bitcoin. And um, you know, they accept Bitcoin for for you know merchandise, for tickets, for all kinds of things. So that's pretty cool. That's that's a, that's what we want. You know what I mean? We want these currencies to be used exactly what you know what for what they're needed you know for what they're used for a currency and uh, so for example in a place like Miami which is a very international city you know there's a lot of people that actually go to see Dolphins games or sporting events and, and are not from Miami they're just there on vacation visiting from God knows where probably another country and they want a little bit of uh, a little bit of the American experience so this is great because now someone can buy I don't know, like uh, $5,000 uh, sideline tickets. I don't know who would pay that, but I, I never mind. <laughs> but regardless, you know, and but and now they can, and, you know, instead of having to, you know, exchange money or this or do all this other stuff, they can just pay with Litecoin. Or they could probably just buy a Miami Dolphins, uh, you know, jersey for that amount of money. Now, when I, this ain't a Miami Dolphins, uh, ad, you know, this ain't a Miami Dolphins, uh, uh, what is it? advertisement uh, commercial ad for the new season that's coming up by the way football season is right around the corner but no again we're talking about just Bitcoin and crypto and sports now let's look at the other side the other side of the coin but on boom the other side of the crypto coin <laughs> um, when it comes to sports well I don't know if any one of you guys out there are crypto betters you know I, I said that wrong I don't know if any of you guys out there are actually you know they you bet online you bet on sports online or play poker online or anything like that well if you guys are you guys are already fully aware that it's, it's it just becomes increasingly difficult all the time 
you know, in order to do um, business with these entities um, for a million reasons. There's always all these rules and regulations, and the, the um, they're always cracking down. And for one one minute, you know, you have your money in your in your uh, in your betting account, and the next minute you don't. But regardless, one of the solutions, you know, to that this industry has had in order to um, solve this problem for you to be able to bet online has been the use of cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency has been already flourishing within the um, which it, within the betting uh, communities for for a while now. And in fact, you know, let's just take that another step. If you go to Vegas, you know, um, Vegas is very crypto friendly. They got Bitcoin ATMs all over the place. You can pay for things at hotels with crypto. You can do a lot of things with crypto. Um, again, Vegas, they know what's up, and they, you know, have a lot of international um, visitors. And so, you know, being able to accept and transact in crypto is great, just like they do with other currencies. So, they're already ahead of the ball and ahead of the game there. But when it comes to online betting, especially if you're like in the U.S. or you're in a country in which online betting or betting is illegal, you know, most of us have to, you know, you know, get like a VPN, you know, bet online. You can't really transfer money from your bank account and so on and so forth. So what do people do? Well, they buy cryptocurrencies and which is, which by the way, happens to be one of their first experiences with cryptos. And then once they do that, they get to, you know, deposit this crypto within their uh, online betting bank account and then they can go betting again and so on and so forth. So, you know, there's always a way. And, and again, this is why it makes crypto so awesome that no matter how much they try to regulate this, how much they try to make it illegal, whatever the hell they try to do, they can't do it. They, they just can't. It's, it's, uh, it's one of those things that, you know, it's beyond the rule of law, you know, beyond the reach of government, beyond the reach of any of these entities for them to do anything about it. Um, again, that's why when like the whole Facebook Libra coin thing, you know, has come out, you see the government just poof, pouncing on it, just like, uh, like uh, what is it, flies to shit because that's literally what happened you know what i mean it's a bunch of flies going to shit because the facebook coin isn't really a coin but again this is a conversation for another day that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about crypto in sports <coughs> also another thing off the top of my head there's some baseball team out there or some uh i think it's a baseball team i just don't know if they're in the u.s or international but regardless i think they are in the u.s and I think also a soccer team, an international soccer team is doing this. But what are they doing? Well, you guys remember Crypto Kitties? Well, for, for those of you guys that don't know what Crypto Kitties are, um, that was um, a program, a thing on the Ethereum platform that allowed you know, people to create um, digital cats and make them tokens. So, you know, long story short, they were just like trading cards. You know how you have like baseball trading cards or you might have Pokemon cards? Well, someone out there created the first trading card platform thing, which is the Crypto Kitties. I have a few Crypto Kitties somewhere. I don't even know where. Speaking of which, now that I remember, it was like maybe I should look into it and see if I can uh, hide them. Because even though they're, they're not worth anything now or whatever, at some point, these things, you know, just like when we look back at the first ever Pokemon cards or the first ever um, baseball cards or the first ever whatever, when they first came out, they weren't worth anything. But, you know, as years went on and these things started catching on, people want like the first, the original, like a collector's item and all that stuff. So, you know, these crypto kitties fall in that same line of a collectible. And all this, all this collectible stuff, you know, is also very into the sports thing. So, now, you know, um, there's a few sports teams out there that are creating like digital baseball cards and kind of treating them like these crypto kitties. So that's pretty cool. A lot of other teams out there are doing like crypto giveaways and using um, whether it's Ethereum or other cryptocurrencies to help facilitate, you know, um, the use or, or, or what is it, the transfer of all these giveaways and so on and so forth. And why are these teams probably doing it? Well, just off the top of my head, I'm literally just thinking this off the cuff, you know, as I'm talking to you guys, it's probably just to avoid taxes or to get around, you know, certain things or maybe the ease of use and, and so on and so forth. You know, they want, you know, um, just from a promotional span standpoint from, uh, from the stadiums, you know, from the teams themselves, they want people to interact with the team they want them to interact with all this free stuff they want them to you know be part of the whole show so you know this the, you know cryptocurrencies allows people to you know do this more and so again you know these are just very rudimentary you know when it comes to like the cards you know and other things you know very rudimentary um 
ways in which you know cryptos are being implemented uh, but but they're very important because again just when it comes to like the betting aspect you know anyone out there that's in the betting community or gambling community you guys know fully well the importance of crypto a lot of you guys out there that are into the porn industry and i'm not talking about the you consumers of porn i'm talking about the people that are in the porn industry you guys know who you guys are shout out to you um you guys know that you guys can't um, do your taxes like a regular citizen. You guys can't declare what you do for a living to the government. So you guys have to do what? You guys have to, um, you, guys, you guys barely have a bank account because the government doesn't want you guys to have a bank account. So you either A, got to lie, or B, you got to use something like cryptocurrencies. So anyone out there within that industry, you know, you guys have been using crypto for a very long time. To get around that i know we were talking about sports i don't know how like i got into you know porn um i guess porn could be a sport all right let, let me leave that one alone but regardless you know let's just come full circle you know on today's episode so again you know the role of cryptocurrency within sports is uh is is becoming you know more and more um what is it apparent and obvious as days go on now for a lot of you older viewers you guys might not be aware of what i'm about to talk about right now but for all you younger viewers um you guys know exactly what i'm going to talk about right now which is you know um the cryptocurrency gamification the what is it the tokenization of um of your digital video game worlds already what do i mean by that i know it's a lot of big words but what what i'm talking about is you know what i think all ages know what's going on here because I, f I forgot you know if you guys are old enough and you guys have kids you guys already you guys buy these fucking things for your kids but the point is that you know you guys remember in our days you know a lot of these video games and a lot of these uh you know um digital um worlds did not exist and um, for you younger kids, all you guys know is about this digital world. But what am I talking about? Whether you're playing, you know, farm, whatever the fuck, you know, on Facebook, or you're playing gem, whatever the fuck on your phone, or you're, I'm horrible, or you're playing uh, World of Warcraft or Fortnite or whatever, all of these uh, things out there, for the most part, you guys already have, are, are using digital currencies. And what you guys do is you guys trade in your dollars for these digital currencies, okay, so that you can use them in game. So again, you know, right now, digital currencies, you know, are, are literally constantly, um, you know, change, are, are, you know, are helping facilitate a lot of things, you know, within our, 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 you know, our digital world. So if you're playing like a, like a video game, you know, what World of Warcraft or Medal of Honor, and you guys want to buy like the new sword or armor or a new gun or whatever, a parachute or, a, you know, a, a skin, you know, like a t-shirt, you know, that says your name on it while you're playing the game, you know, all these things cost money. And so, you know, in order for these you know companies to make more money they sell you these digital assets and how can they sell them to you well they can't necessarily sell them to you only you know directly with dollars because you know there's a whole world with all these currencies all, that want to purchase these things and they want to be able to interact so for example i might buy uh, a sword for a hundred US dollars or a brand new you know whatever item in the game for a hundred dollars okay but somebody in Romania or in Russia or in Europe or in Africa might also want to buy that sword. So I can sell them that sword and maybe make a profit or maybe break even or whatever. But I can't sell it, you know, using, you know, remember I bought it in dollars. They want to, they only have Zimbabwe dollars or they only have, you know, uh, euros or they only have yuan, but they need, you know, we need to make that purchase. So what happens is, is in, order, in order for us to, you know, um, purchase or, or, or work within the video game world um, or any of these worlds, what we have to do is that we have to exchange our, our currency, whether it's dollars, euros, uh, rubles, it doesn't matter what it is you want, we have to trade those in for a digital token that belongs to the in-game whatever, and then we get those digital tokens okay and then that's what we make the purchases with and then we cash out those tokens so right then and there you know that's a cryptocurrency so uh, almost all of you guys at one point or already have you know a lot of exposure to cryptocurrencies the younger you are the more you're you've been exposed to this and the longer you've been doing this stuff but again even as an older person if you've ever made an in-game purchase even on your you know dumb facebook game or whatever game that you're playing on your phone You've already made, bought those tokens and have already participated within the crypto world. So 
What Bitcoin really is over anything else is just a, a digital version of gold. So you know how a lot of people are always like, sell your stocks and buy, um, buy physical gold and silver. That's really gonna hold your value. Buy a chain, buy a ring, or buy coins and keep them under your bed or whatever. Okay, so that's what Bitcoin is. Okay, and when people tell you, hey, you know, you should invest in stocks and you should invest in uh, mutual funds and whatever, okay, that's every other crypto project where you're investing in these things, but you don't know if they're gonna, you know, you don't know. It's it's an investment. It's uh, you know, you never know type of thing. Bitcoin is not okay, and uh, that's the major difference. But again, that's not what this episode's about. This episode is all about what crypto and gaming, crypto and uh, sports, and that whole universe okay so again guys you know full circle you know what this episode is about again it's all part of the whole Bitcoin 101 crypto 101 type of thing I'm just trying to get you guys more exposure okay to the whole crypto world and try to again bring it down and break it down into layman terms and then also again break it down to the point where you know you guys can see you know these things are already in use how you can also like it can also probably help you envision how we're going to be using these things in the future why we need them in the future and so on and so forth if you guys watch yesterday's episode talking about um you, you know my live stream yesterday you know when we were talking about um you know the fed rate cuts and all that stuff that happened yesterday um you guys understand more why we need these cryptocurrencies more and more every day because you know every single day as we you know move into this uh, new world of negative interest rates and um you know and really really bad monetary policy we're realizing that you know not only can we not trust these banks and governments anymore but if we do it's it's your fault 1000 percent for being in the poorhouse because you know right now with this uh, wealth of knowledge out there it's it's only it's your fault 100 percent if if you don't end uh on the right side of history when it comes to these things okay there's absolutely zero reason for you not to you know uh, understand these things so um to come again yeah to finish what i was uh just saying to can finish this episode um again guys you know this whole crypto world is still in its infancy but it's here to stay okay and all bitcoin really is like i've said a billion times is just the napster to the banks so you already know what happened okay throughout that whole time no matter what your age you guys already know what what's uh what what to happen the older you are the more you understand and uh we're again entering into a brand new universe that a brand new paradigm that no no one knows what the fuck is going to happen because we've never been here before whether it comes, you know, at mean again, the negative interest rates and the the money printing and all that insanity that's happening there that, you know, the whole thing could just disappear tomorrow or it probably last a lot longer. But regardless, you know, whether it's that or whether it's a new technology that we're, you know, all, you know, talking about and uh, and, and using or, or, you know, again, or whether it's, you know, this Bitcoin stuff, you know, which is, you know, this new paradigm shift that is going to change how we look at money, how we look at currency and how we look at all of these things forever okay so guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i know i enjoyed making it um if you guys want to buy some jose artiaga merch some lambo merch links at the bottom okay just go to my website joseartiaga.com there's a link to the store there and then bam you know also you already know i got expat services i'm selling prints i'm doing all kinds of things so just check that out and um Again, I'm always open to, you know, your questions, your answers, <laughs> your questions, my answers. Or again, sometimes you guys have answers, you know, sometimes I fuck up and it's uh, good to have a discourse and be able to discuss these things, you know, with the community. But speaking of which, if you guys want to have more of a discussion, please, I implore you to join the Discord. Links at the bottom. So not only can, uh, can you be part of the conversation, but please be part of the conversation don't just listen but also you know it's a little bit of a safe space there so you guys can uh you know talk you know and uh, we can hear you know you guys out and uh, we continue this conversation this discussion you know um for you know as long as we got to do it and all that good stuff so don't forget to follow me on instagram follow me on discord follow me on you know the youtube follow me everywhere okay um and um i think that's it i'm gonna cut it here so don't forget to please like please subscribe please share oh by the oh yes thank you to all my patrons 
Thank you to everybody out there sending me, you know, Bitcoin, DigiPy, um, PayPal, all of you guys. I love you guys, okay? Again, this is why I created the store. So now you guys can actually get something in return for your contribution. So thank you so much. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. I love you guys and I'll see you guys manana. Peace. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special requests on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.